Hi everyone, we've all been in a situation where you have an important event or date to go to and suddenly a nasty pimple appears in the most visible place of your face. It's a real disaster that can spoil your mood and your evening. But even if you don't want to, your hands will reach for your face and you'll suddenly find yourself trying to get rid of this nightmare. Many people believe that popping a pimple is much simpler and more effective than getting medical treatment, let alone figuring out the root of the problem. But what can you do? Close yourself up at home, put on tons of makeup, buy a helmet or a mask, or wait until it clears up by itself. So is it really that bad to pop your pimples? And what can happen if you do? We'll try to figure it out in this episode. Let's get it on. For starters, let's make it clear what a pimple is. It's a symptom of inflammation. Inflammation occurs when our body tries to protect the healthy tissue from the sick one. In other words, the body tries to get rid of all the bad shit it has inside and pushes it out in the form of pus. The accumulated pus is basically a bunch of dead or almost dead microorganisms whose work is already finished. By squeezing the zit though, you can accidentally destroy the protective wall around it. And if you do, different bacteria can get inside you and travel all over your body along with the blood. Oh, by the way, there is an animation movie on the topic. We recommend you watch it with your family. Very enlightening, especially for kids. Well, maybe some of our viewers are mature enough to have kids. When you pop a pimple, you're actually trying to get rid of a pustule. As a matter of fact, it can work. There's a chance though that you can make it worse. For example, let's say you pop an immature pimple. Yes, some of the purulent fluid will leak out, but the sick part in the base layer of the epithelium will keep creeping. As a result, you'll get more pimples in a shorter span of time. It's just like Hercules fighting against Hydra. Secondly, you should know that the physical impact on the problem area after squeezing the pimple is very strong, and that will only increase the inflammation. As a result, instead of a pustule, you get a wound and then a scar which is only removable with special procedures and not for a small price. So really, girls, do you want this? Anyway, if you still want to pop a pimple and hide it with concealer without disinfecting it first, you might want to know that there's a risk that an infection will make it into the wound and it will go septic and turn into a real fur uncle and you will hardly cure it by yourself. We don't mean to scare you, but let us tell you a story. The famous Russian composer Alexander Skyrobin died in the prime of his life at age 43. And the reason was a little zit that he popped. It looked like an innocent little pimple. And look at the consequences. A harmless homemade procedure led to blood poisoning, which back then was lethal. Actually, nowadays it is still hardly curable. It's even more dangerous if the boil is on your upper lip, nose, nasolabial fold, or in the corner of your mouth. The thing is that the veins carrying blood to the head run through those places. Therefore, infections can spread around and cause brain inflammation and general blood poisoning. So folks, if you have a zit near your nose or mouth, keep your hands away from it. It may sound like an advice from your grandfather, but the safest way to fight against these little fellas is to put some iodine solution or alcohol on the zit and to not squeeze it or pop it. We know that it's hard, but try to forget about it for a while. Then it will likely disappear in three or four days. So next time, think twice before popping a zit. And better lose the horrible habit of touching your face all the time, especially your forehead, even if you're thinking really hard. Take care of your skin. Watch what you eat, sleep more, and don't get stressed too much. And most important, follow our channel. That way, not a single pimple will bring you down and nothing will spoil your plans. Thanks for watching. Please like and share the video in social networks and we'll be right back to you as fast as we can.